During our five night stay in Montpellier, we explore northwards to an area you may know only a little about, but one you will remember forever. The countryside is spectacular as we make our way up to visit the ever so beautiful Tarn Gorge, where a gentle little river has carved a gorge between two massive plateaux. Here you will discover picture perfect churches, cute little villages, and along the riverbanks are lines of vineyards and fields of bright yellow sunflowers. A gorge so massive it is spanned by the tallest bridge on the planet. And yes, we most certainly will take a thrilling drive across that concrete and steel monster. But first, we will stop to explore one of the Clou Beau Village de France, one of the most beautiful villages of France. The compact historical war village of La Couvertoire. Between 12th and 14th centuries, it was built by the Knights Templar, and this is the tiny fortified main gateway. Inside is a warren of delightful stone alleys for you to explore. And the village is brought to life by the artisan boutiques and character shops, hidden corners and cafes, and pretty little nooks and crannies. On the hill behind, there's an ancient windmill where you don't say cheese, cheese tasting, that comes later, you say, act like a windmill. And the views down into the village are excellent. In the middle there, you can see the graveyard flanked by the Templar Tower and a 700 year old simple stone church. This is a very mystical place which oozes history. A place I've been reliably told is littered with secret Masonic and ancient Templar signs. A graveyard for the ancient order of the Knights Templar. If only those stones could talk. But now it is time to cross that bridge. It doesn't look like much as you approach on your three lane highway, but then you realize it is an amazing two and a half kilometers long. And then you gaze down into the valley far, far below. Let's put the colossal size of this bridge into perspective. See here where I have my finger, that point is 343 meters high, which is a fraction higher than the very tip of the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Imagine driving across the top of that. The Milau Viaduct has been consistently ranked as one of the greatest engineering achievements of all time. My wife Julianne goes to the gym a lot. Here she is lifting 290,000 tons. That is what this bridge weighs. Bridges designed with cable stays usually only have two pylons. This one has seven. And the six central spans each measure an amazing 342 meters across. That's over three soccer fields in length for each section. And why do they build this cloud hugging viaduct? Well, this is the old road and there is the old bridge. And considering this was the shortest route between Spain and Paris, the cars, trucks and semi-trailers all had to negotiate this tiny bendy road and every day the traffic jams were enormous. Hours and hours of delays every day. Here's a group of us on the old bridge, and that is the way we now follow along the banks of the gorgeous Tarn River Valley. The mighty viaduct recedes into the distance as we make our way to our final stop to visit the underground limestone caves where a Roquefort cheese matures. Its moist and crumbly body laced with blue veins, Roquefort is known as the cheese of kings and popes, and of course you will have a tasting. Here's Bruce getting stuck in. We both agreed that the special sausages they make, get this, by blending ripe Roquefort cheese and smelly seasoned salami were incroyable, incredible. What an unusual special day in the beautiful Tarn Valley. Another amazing, unique albatross experience, especially for you.